Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper, and in this video, I want to talk about billy pots. The reason I want to talk about them is because they're very useful for cooking certain kinds of food over the campfire, but most campers have never heard of them before. The billy pot is a cooking pot that looks like a tin can. It is tall and narrow with straight sides and usually with a wire handle that's called a bale. This shape is desirable because you can cook uh, several different dishes in them and because smaller ones will nest inside of larger ones. I bought my Pathfinder billy can from Self Reliance Outfitters for $25. It is made from thick gauge stainless steel, has a pouring spout, a strong wire bale handle, a large and strong butterfly handle on the side, and it holds about two quarts. And it also has a tight fitting lid. These billy pots are especially useful for boiling water to mix with oatmeal, coffee, or tea, and for boiling certain foods that require rapid boil. For example, boiled eggs, pasta, potatoes, and corn. Some people have used them to bake small portions of food, but that can be dangerous, and they really are not very good at simmering thick f foods for long periods of time. The name Billy Pot apparently originated in Australia back in the 1850s. Gold was discovered in several locations and each discovery drew hundreds of miners hoping to strike it rich. Much of the food consumed by these miners consisted of soups and stews that were packaged in metal cans. After the food was eaten, these metal cans were used to boil water for tea. The company that made these soups and stews was a French company by the name of Boulet, but when printed, the name of the company looked like Billy. Hence, the miners began to call these Billy Cans. This is an old Billy Can from that time. This photo of a group of miners shows several of them holding their Billy Cans, or Billy Pots. The term billy can or billy pot to refer to a cooking pot was widely adopted throughout Australia and then England and then through other English-speaking colonies, uh, especially Canada. For example, this early scouting book published in 1908 by Englishman Robert Baden-Powell frequently refers to a billy and has this photo showing a billy can hanging over a campfire. Although it was not called a billy pot, this type of cooking container has also been used in the United States since the, since the 1850s. For example, this wood engraving by Winslow Homer shows a group of Civil War soldiers sitting around a campfire with a, two billy pots hanging. This photo, taken after the Civil War, shows an early Western pioneer with four billy pots of varying sizes sitting near his campfire. According to tradition, the largest pot is used as a bucket to get water from the nearby river or uh, pond. The second largest is used to boil meat. The third largest is used to boil vegetables, and the smallest is used to boil water for tea. In 1903, the Abercrombie and Fitch Camp Outfit catalog shows a set of four billy pots, along with plates, bowls, and utensils that can be nested together. And this drawing in Nesmuk's Woodcraft and Camping book published in 1920, shows a billy pot along with a coffee kettle, a frying pan, and a larger stew pot sitting over the campfire. In 1987, the Canadian wilderness instructor, Moores Kohansky, showed several different ways to hang a billy pot over a campfire. 
After Kohansky's Bushcraft book was published, a large number of people became interested in outdoor living and survival, and they became known as bushcrafters. These bushcrafters typically cook a lot of their meals in these billy cans. Perhaps the most famous of the billy cans are the stainless steel zebra pots. The zebra pots come in four different sizes, and the number refers to the diameter of the pot in centimeters. The 16 holds a little more than three quarts of water and costs $28. The 14 holds two quarts of water and costs $22. And the 12 holds one and a third quarts and costs $25. The 10 holds three-fourths of a quart and costs $28. Pathfinder Billy Pots come in two sizes. I bought the smaller two-quart stainless steel bush pot, but it is also available in a one-gallon size. Four Dog Stove sells anodized aluminum Billy Pots in two sizes. The Moore's Camp Pot, named after Moore's Kohansky, holds about two quarts of water and costs $38, but uh, they also make a 1.16 quart size that sells for $30. Although these billy pots or bush pots are very popular with bushcrafters, they are not popular at all with backpackers. Backpackers typically heat their water with a small stove rather than a campfire. They heat the water in a low and wide pot rather than the tall, narrow pot. And then they pour this water into a bag of dehydrated food and eat the food directly from the bag. Modern tent camping families typically use propane stoves now and small cook sets sold in camping outfitting stores or pots and pans that were sold in department stores for in-home use. One reason why backpackers and modern tent camping families don't use these billy cans is because they are hard to find. REI doesn't carry them, neither does Campmore or Backcountry.com. If you want one of these Billy Pots, you'll have to buy it from Amazon.com or one of the other online outfitter stores that carries them. In closing, let me challenge you to put together a complete kitchen set for four people that includes at least one two-quart or larger Billy can and fits into a standard 12-inch by 12-inch milk crate. For more information about tent camping equipment, procedures, and destinations, please read my book, Basic Tent Camping, watch my other videos on camp cooking, visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com, and visit my Facebook page, Modern Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping. You can see I've got some eggs boiling on the left in the billy pot, whereas the potatoes on the right have not come to a boil yet. <laughs>